How are you doing, everybody? Welcome to today's live stream. Welcome. My name is Ja. My name is Erik. So it's been a while for me. So uh, holiday, right? Yeah, I just got back from holiday, so I'm gonna do my best. I might still be a bit shy or nervous, so uh, <laughs> you but, probably uh, have to catch up on the it. product specs. Exactly. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about today, so uh, give me a break. <laughs> What's new? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. But um, yeah. So, of course, uh, we all know what you're here for. Uh, of course, the MPG 3 for 1 oh, for the giveaway. Yeah, sh there are a lot of people asking for the giveaway already, man. It's yeah. not just about the giveaway. But, of course, we also have a giveaway, like always. Um, so, uh, if you just go to uh, the link right here, and uh, msl.com slash slash insider, and perform a few actions. The more actions you perform, the more chances you will have at winning one of the Steam codes today. And uh, well, if you didn't win on the first try, no worries. There's going to be multiple uh, draws, so uh, you'll still have chances later. And if you have already registered or performed the actions once, uh, you don't have to do it again and again by each draw, because once you have done it, you're in the pool, so you always uh, have a chance later on too. So guys, uh, good luck and uh, go for it. Well, and also if the link doesn't work for you, Eric will also post the link uh, directly Ooh, in the chat. I will try because it, it's, yeah, I, it's coming, it's coming. It's, yeah. Um, uh, so uh, if the link doesn't work, just be patient. Then uh, the direct link will come after a few tries. Uh, the it might be a bit of a technical difficulty right now with. Uh, the I link. posted <laughs> at least. I, I posted at least on YouTube, uh, mm -hmm. so people can see it over there. <clears throat> um, yeah, chat seems to be working. It's quite strange, right? Yeah. So, uh, well, yeah. if there's anything wrong, you guys can always let us know in the chat. No worries. We'll try to uh, keep up with it. So, yeah, what are we gonna? talk about today well of course the mpg 341 cqr the ai the world first so ai gaming monitor mpg yeah that's MPG. like 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 high-end gaming yeah that's our high tier 341 yeah that's <clears throat> 341 inch that's uh, that's really big but okay. uh you, you were close you were close eric so the three four is actually for the inch so 34 okay. inches and the one is for the generation okay and then what was it? <coughs> C, C, R. I know what C is, curved. Q, 4040p. Q, Q stands for QQ. What is R? The R stands for? Oh, RGB. RGB, yes, yes, See, yes. If Eric could have guessed it, you guys could have guessed it. So, <clears throat> yeah. So what can you expect today? Of course, uh, I will take you through everything there is to know about this new AI <coughs> monitor. Uh, but before that, I'll also go through some basic information for those of you. Uh, well, it, the, this kind of information is also very important for you to know. Uh, I'll try yeah, not to make it... Let me... Sorry, sorry yeah, no, to no, interrupt you. I yeah. see a very good question. Uh, but the real question is, where is the 5700 XT Gaming X? Yes. Last... Uh, this is somebody who watched last <coughs> week. Mm -hmm. Because last week we indeed announced that uh, this week we wanted to uh, stream about that, about all the... Uh, AMD VJ cards. However, we didn't. Uh, the sample didn't arrive yet. So, yeah, uh, yeah, very difficult to do a stream without sample. <clears throat> so we're looking into the coming weeks. Uh, but the coming weeks are pretty busy with a lot of interesting uh, product launches. So yeah. Uh, so this morning, you know, Eric just uh, you know knocked on my table and was like, <laughs> "Hey, yeah, you know what? You have to do a live stream today." I was like, "I thought it was next week." Yeah, so, last um, moment. Sorry, sorry. Exactly. Yeah, but this is also a test for you guys to see if anybody paid attention to know what today's live stream was going to be about. Oh, he knew. He you knew. knew. Yeah, good question. Yeah. So uh, we'll come for sure in the future. Don't know which, when uh, because uh, <clears throat> yeah, I need to find a sp uh, space for it. Yeah, but for now, we can enjoy this, right? Yeah. All right, so um, yeah, and later on <coughs> after the product, uh, you know, features and everything there is to know about this product, I'll also uh, do some demonstrations and also uh, play on CSGO to show you an awesome feature that you might not know about, an interactive feature of the monitor. All right. So Eric already uh, briefly touched on uh, that, well, the monitor, the MPG series is actually sitting on top of our lineups. So that's correct. You know, because we have a lot of monitors in a lot of lineups, uh, you know, meant for every gamer's needs. You know, some people, they don't want uh, RGB, for example. They just want nice specifications and that's it you know for these kind of people or gamers we also have the g series which is like at the bottom of our lineups the g series you know they're great monitors no nonsense 
uh, having great specs, also 144 But normally the, 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 the entry-level monitors don't come in, like, because this one is really, like, ultra-wide. Oh, yes. It's, it's huge. Yeah. So there you also have the more like the normal aspect ratio. 25, 27 inch curved. Yeah, so 16 by 9. Yeah. And uh, so you have the G. And then on top of that, if you want more options, you want to have gaming OSD where you can fine tune every little detail, set up profiles, or even have RGB, you know, more of the finishing touches. You can uh, look at our MAG series, which is higher than the G series. And then if you want even more than that, you know, that's when the MPG series uh, will come to uh, play. So this one is our newest edition in uh, the MPG 341 CQR in our MPG series. This one we already showed at Computex, which was yeah. an event in uh, June, end of May, beginning yes. of June uh, in, in this year. Uh, the event normally is in of always in Taiwan, uh, Taipei. So there we already showed it. But... No, it always takes some months before these products come to the market uh, yeah. because that's it's just a showcase. You show off your new products, but it you know it takes uh, needs mm -hmm. to go into mass production. And we have to work on feedbacks and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, indeed, we uh, always include uh, feedback uh, which we get from the media and also from the customers. Yeah. Um, and then of course it needs to be shipped uh, to Europe, to USA, to uh, APEC, uh, Asian Pacific. Uh, so this always takes some months. Uh, so now it's finally mm -hmm. available in the stores, right? And yeah, that's why so we do. Right. A yeah. more in-depth live stream. So right now it's uh, it's already well worldwide available on the shelves in the stores. Uh, so it should also be available in your local uh, e retailers or e-tailers. Yeah. So um, yeah. Um, so we talked about uh, okay, uh, what's our lineups about, and where is this sitting currently in the lineups? So now you know that. Um, so before I get into details about you know all the features and, uh, and the ultra wide epicness and the AI and um, well. Also, uh, well, maybe we can show this on on a, on a detail cam because something this really going to be a little bit tricky. Yeah, something but... really iconic is that you guys, well, you might be familiar with this, is the LED RGB bars on the front. Yeah. So this is really the iconic part from our MPG series. Also, the sixteen by one ratio ones. They also have this in front, so you guys might know about this. So once again, it makes its appearance back on the MPG ultra wide. So later I'll also show you what this is all about and shh, no spoilers yet. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. So you see a lot of stuff sticking out here and also on the top, we can show you on the other camera angle later. Uh, so a lot of goodies going on here. And uh, well, in a, well, just a bit later, I'll show you everything and tell you all about why these things are here and what, they, what are they for? Some of you might have already guessed what it's for, um, but uh, for those who doesn't know, a bit more patience. All right, so now maybe a little bit the boring part because uh, before we do all that exciting stuff, uh, I do feel like I need to probably brief you guys on uh, some basic but very, very important specifications that will really well, define and make your gaming experience a lot better if you also have understanding of this part. So yeah, we have a few slides here. I'll try to go through it quickly, so I'll not bore you guys out. You know, Eric is already hinting like, why are you doing this? But... I think everybody knows the benefits of 144, yeah. right? Do you guys? Well, because I also still get like questions from people in my network be like, that they know what it means, kind true, of, true. but they don't know what it means like in practice and why is it so different. So, you know, just quickly going through it, you know, 144 hertz, you get a lot more frames per second squeezed in your frame, well, your, your uh, monitor compared to 60. So images will much less uh, be like a stop motion style. So everything is much more smooth and sharp especially when it's moving. So 144 hertz. And this is, uh, well, the MPG 341 CQR also having 144 hertz. And to give you a bit more, maybe a clearer representation is you just shown here in the animation. In one frame, for example, if, well, in one scenario, if one needs to go from A to B, you can see that it took here like five frames to do that. And if you have like 144 hertz, there's so much more so many more frames squeezed into that scene the animation so it's much smoother and you really have to try this out and why i also think this is so important is because when i switched from 60 to 144 hertz it was like um uh, like really like such a difference and it actually made me a better gamer because i'm a hardcore competitive gaming uh it is a, it is a big difference and yeah. then the 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 big problem is when you are 
use the 144 and you need to go back. <laughs> oh, that's that, that really the, yeah, that difference is even bigger. Yes. So, uh, just to illustrate what I mean by you know the stop motion style of 60 hertz and the smoothness of 144, just take a look at this video right here. Something happened, but this is oh, the okay. important part. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah. So you see the choppiness of like 60 hertz or even 120 is still a but bit there. Can we there. maybe show again? Oh, well, okay. Uh, here one. we have more examples. And then if you compare this to 144 hertz, you can really see like I think, there's so many more frames. I think I played this to uh, against Mike and I didn't like it. Was that Tournament 3? Uh, yeah, it was, it was in, Unreal Tournament, but yeah, I'm not yeah, sure it was, it was old three. one. Yeah, you got wrecked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you even kill him once? Oh, no, I don't uh, think so. Maybe, by mistake. <laughs> So, it was insta -gip. Yeah, so I hope this, uh, this, uh, all these kind of materials will help you understand, you know, why it's important even more and the mechanics behind it. And if you haven't noticed this, haven't tried this, really have to try this out because this will really make a difference in your gaming experiences. Uh, I'm talking a lot, so I hope everyone will keep better track of the chat than me. Yeah, uh, yeah. If there's something I'm, interesting, I'm checking, you know, I'll checking. hear about it. Now, if you go a step uh, further beyond this is... Okay, but then you also need to know about FPS. So FPS is being pushed out by your GPU. It comes as a signal to your monitor, and then your monitor have to, uh, has to display this FPS being pushed out. But your monitor refreshes at a fixed rate. So then you can have the, well, usually it's the case that your FPS is not constant. It's like variable. But your monitor is fixed. So then you can, be, uh, you can have this case of mismatched uh, timings. And in that kind of case, you can have stuttering and screen tearings. I'm sure some of you are familiar with it. Uh, and that's what you would like to avoid. So that's where the syncing, adaptive syncing comes in. So you can think about FreeSync or NVIDIA G-Sync. Those kind of synchronization technologies will make sure that uh, the refresh rate of your monitor will they become want to show flexible. The, they want to see the movies again. You, want, you guys want to see the movies again? Yeah, maybe do the racing car. I was like, yeah, hmm. sure, sure. No, I'll come back to this then. Uh, some, uh, uh, okay. Sanity is also saying uh, less input lag from the mouse as well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, Vibe has a question. Uh, what time is the uh, 5700 XT Gaming X coming out? Uh, should be in a couple of days uh, later this week. To be honest, uh, there is a, a counter on our website. It's counting down, and I don't know to what <laughs> date. <laughs> don't look Sh at me. Should be soon. Peter is the GPU guy. Uh, is 240 hertz monitor worth it? Um, depend, depends on what kind of games uh -huh. you play, because if yeah. you uh, play a strategy game, it will not help you. Um, if you play a competitive game and you are willing to uh, drop on the image quality, uh, basically uh, yeah. less details, otherwise, because uh -huh. in order to benefit the 240, uh, 240 hertz monitor, you also need to match it with frames per second. Yeah. And if you have mm -hmm. a heavy game like Battlefield, almost impossible to do that on the, like 4040p. This one is 4040p, ultra yeah. wide. Um, so yeah, you either need to have the hardware, so very fast GPU, or you need to be able to like Counter Strike. Everybody is play. You're also going to play Counter Strike, <laughs> right, Peter? Oh yes, yes. So um, you see, need uh, to yeah. be able to. I see Benny is asking, "Where's my pineapple shirt?" Well, next time, next time, I'll take notice. <laughs> So I hope you guys have seen uh, the videos enough now because I've repeated it quite a few times. Uh, and if not, you know, let us know again. But uh, yeah, let's let's go back to what I was saying here. Well, let me keep it brief. The main message here is that you need to make sure that your uh, FPS and your refresh rate is synced because this way you will have a smooth gaming experience. Now, what do I mean by this is that, again, we have a video right to show you. In a mismatch, mismatched situation uh, on the right with the free sync off, so the syncing uh, adaptive syncing te technology being off, you can see that the screen is being torn apart, so to speak, or you can have stuttering. On the left, you have the sphere syncing on. This way, it will have a smooth gaming experience. So that's why you need to understand you know, the mechanics behind it, so this way you will also benefit from this yourself. All right. So now we talk uh, quite a uh, lot. So about this is an interesting question. Uh, 4040p, 144 versus 1080p, 240. Which one is better? And I think the, the answer is always, it depends on your own yeah. <laughs> preference on what kind of games mm. you play and if it's like exactly. competitive or not. Yeah. It's like a broken record, right? It's always 
preference because you know for, okay let's take an example here because me and eric we are quite different yeah i'm a competitive gaming player in the sense of i play csgo i prefer to have less image quality i prefer to have 240 hertz well if there's like 300 hertz monitor right now i'll buy that one but eric is like oh man mm, i'm on 4040p i want that best visual i want, I want all the candy. pixels you know he's yeah. battlefield 5 i understand yeah. battlefield 5 is a gorgeous game I i'm playing battlefield 5 and if i have like like 80 fps I'm happy. Yeah. So, you know, Eric, he will go for 1440p with, uh, what was the, his option again? Ultra um, settings yeah. and, and like, like 144 hertz. Yeah. Me, I wouldn't mind to go back to 1080p, play on 24, 25 inches, and then having 240 hertz because I m mainly play, you know, competitive games. So for me, that's my preference. And so, you know, so you can also be one of these cases. You can also be sitting in between. If you're sitting in between, then you have to just make a compromise somewhere. <laughs> so that really depends on, you know, what do you want? Yeah, so um, let me see a good question. Um, what kind of VGA card do you need? I think that's your next... Yeah, I was just about to get to that part. Yeah. yeah. But uh, there was actually something else that I also wanted to add to that question we just had, uh, which is also very important, is that, okay, if you don't just consider is it a 1440p that I want or 1080p because in this kind of two kind of cases you will also need to take into account what sizes do you want because that can make quite a lot of difference too if you're playing like 1080p on 24 25 inches it's 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 yeah it's more than enough unless you're like pixel picking like hmm oh yeah I can see the pixel right here if you're really like with your face in front of the screen then yeah, sure. But if you're playing like 1080p on 24 inches, 27 inches and plus, in those kind of cases, I will recommend you to maybe think twice about, okay, maybe you need 1440p for this because then you will start to see the pixels. So you will also need to take into account, okay, it's not just uh, 1440p versus 1080p, but it's also the sizes that come with them. So of course you have to figure that for yourself what do you think is like uh acceptable enough but generally i would recommend if you go 27 inches and higher you need to go 1440p unless you don't mind the pixels yeah correct so yeah all right so uh coming back to the question later that you guys just had well um i spent quite some time for you guys to put this graph together because um nowadays it's still I will try to make a bit, it a little um, bit bigger yeah if it's hard for you guys to read just tell us but um, yeah, it was quite hard to find a great overview of a lot of the GPU models uh, being tested against uh, 1440p on 21 by 9 ratio, so ultra wide. Yeah. So generally, there are a lot of uh, graphics uh, benchmarks out there on 1080p, Quad HD, so 1440p or 4K even, but not really on the ratio of 21 by 9. So I had to do the calculations for all of the 21 by 9s for you guys just to show you, okay. What can you expect? What hardware do you need? So this graph <laughs> is like tested and averaged out with like tons of games. So a lot of AAA games mixed in there and other popular games. So it's an average. So depending on what kind of games you're playing, it can be higher, it can be lower. So this is really just an idea for you to, uh, to, uh, to grasp. CJ's money printer is broken. <laughs> <laughs> His wallet stopped printing money. <laughs> you can still sell a liver, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or kidneys, you have two of them. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, I totally get that point. But um, if you want to play this, okay, uh, this graph, you need to see this graph as like everything's being maxed out, right? So, ultra settings. And in th those kind of cases, it's quite uh, f well, graphically demanding. So, you need to have a great GPU if you want to play in ultra wide, 34 inches, and uh, 21 by 9 you will have uh, to have like at least the RTX 2070 if you want to have a smooth gaming experience because you know this is also like a broken record, but 60 FPS or 60, yeah, that's a golden standard. So if you want to have a good experience with gaming, smooth experience, you need to have at least 60 FPS. Then you, are, you need to have an RTX 2070 on average. Of course, you, you can still tweak the settings. You don't have to have everything maxed out because me personally, I always go through the setting to see, okay, which setting do I you know think is the least important or you know, follow metric lighting, stuff like that, or fog, shadow quality. A lot of these kind of stuff will impact the performance quite a lot by small adjustments. So you don't 
really have to play everything maxed out. So if you have like, for example, 1660 Ti, if you have everything maxed out, you don't even get 50. Somebody is saying they cannot hear me. I'm all panic panicking, already sending messages like, is my mic working? And that's just trolling. Hey, but, uh, but another uh, <laughs> nice remark. Which game is this? <clears throat> On the background. Yeah. That's um, uh, let me. I know that the game. Uh, it's uh, it's, de it's even developed by Touch. Uh, yeah, by Touch. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. But and I for think what platform? PlayStation Four. Okay, so. I think, but I think it was also coming to PC platform. Mm. But uh, <laughs> I've got it. You just took a PlayStation picture. Well. It was just a random picture to uh, nice. make it a bit nicer yeah. for you guys, and you know, not just boring <laughs> table. But Horizon. nice catch, nice catch. Noel, somebody in the chats. Right, right. Horizon was CJ. It. Yeah. So, uh, all right. To my fellow nerds out there, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, any other interesting questions, maybe? Ah. So there's someone asking about uh, MSI MPG 27CQ. Oh, good that you know about that one because that's before this one, the, the big star. Uh, or this new MPG 341 CQR. Yeah. But, well, what are the main differences? Uh, and these monitors are, are these monitors compatible with G-Sync? Okay, so first of all, the biggest difference is that with this one, the most obvious one is it's ultra wide. Yeah. So the previous one, it's uh, 27 inches, but it's 16 by 9. So the resolution is the same, um, the, the uh, response time is the same, but it's really in the features. So ultra wide, uh, you have uh, AI functions. You know there are a lot more goodies coming up with this one. So the differences are really <laughs> in that those kind of areas, and it still kind of has the same uh, look ID. But you know, the back side is, of course, different, but the front side is still resembling the other one because it also has the LED bars. A lot of funny guys in the chat. Really? Is it uh, which April one is, 1st today? Yeah, which one is better for bullet protection? <laughs> the ultra wide. Yeah, may maybe we should do that next time. Yeah, because now you're being covered by like a wider yeah. area, right? You can use it vertically, protect your balls up to your throat. <laughs> <laughs> I see a lot of guys who uh, have been keeping up with uh, our monitors. Yeah, true. <laughs> Good one. True. So yeah, those are the main differences. And uh, later I'll also show you the differences, well, the features. And uh, well, all right. Uh, I think no more questions for now, right? Uh, Eric, I always what smile. you doing? <laughs> what? Yeah. You know what we're going to do? I was smiling actually because I want to do uh, a giveaway. <clears throat> oh, you guys are lucky. I mean, <laughs> Eric's in the sun today. Well, we have a small problem. Each time I post a link in the chat, our chat program crashes. Uh, but no worries. I hope you mm. all see the links when I post. First, I'm going to do a lucky I mean, draw. Uh, you would think that it's almost 2020. Uh, yeah, but, you know, um, we have, I mean, we're, it's quite, and technology quite interesting. Still, uh, Each time we're improving uh, the, the, the setup here. Yeah. So we now I mean, have I mean, one. this is not something that we can help. It's, no. We yeah. should just show our setup one time. I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five, six monitors right now yeah. <laughs> around us to see the chat, to see yourself, to control uh, what, what we're using, uh, XSplit. Yep. Um, and still we have things crashing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the more uh, the more devices and stuff you're using, you know, the higher the possibility for crash. Yeah, maybe. But uh, yeah, uh, for those of you who just joined, uh, please go to uh, msn.com slash two slash insider if you want to have, well, if you want to have a chance to have a $20 oh, oh, oh. Steam uh, uh, coupon. And if it doesn't work, go to the link uh, in the chat. Uh, that's a direct link if that doesn't work for you and perform a few actions there. If you have performed it, uh, performed it, you'll be in the pool for the later draws because there's going to be more than this. Hey, yeah. And I think we have the first... Uh, Congratulations. Yeah. You are the uh, first one to announce of, to announce the first winner. I thought Eric's going to congratulate me on no. the code, but uh, no, no, all right, no, all right. No. This uh, name. I'm going to warm up. His name is, uh, is... Oh, that's his nickname. Yeah, I mean... The first one. I mean, that's what we're supposed to say. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so I guess uh, is... Uh, his first name doesn't make is... it any easier. No, yeah. no, that's... Uh, anyway, Maria, Olaf, uh, congratulations with your game code. We will yeah. send in the coming days by email. Um, if you want to participate, go to amazon.com slash two slash insider or... 
I will try again to post a link in the chat. Yeah. So I hope uh, it doesn't crash. Keep the chat. Uh, keep a good eye on the chat. I think we posted it, and if we didn't, let us know. We keep track of the chat. So I think someone just said that's my nickname. Well, congratulations. Uh, or oh, did I crash. just misread that? Yeah. Crash. But uh, the, the, yeah, the link should be in the chat now. So if you just join, I'm not sure link. because uh, pro probably it's read only, so I cannot post. Anyway, I put it in uh, mm. uh, YouTube. Okay. Well, so uh, for those of you watching on uh, Twitter, Periscope, or you know Twitch or something, and you don't see the chat, uh, let's see, don't see the link. Let us know uh, or just visit our YouTube channel because there we also. I'll go it. to msicom slash Yeah. So good luck uh, if you're new and uh, well. <clears throat> All right, so we uh, we got rid of the boring stuff and uh, we're done with the PTT. And uh, all right, well, now I think it's time to get into the monitor. Because, you know, when I first saw the monitor, I was like, hmm, ultra wide. That's uh, quite interesting because uh, I know we had an ultra wide in our lineup yeah. before, yeah. but there was more like oh. a lower tiered um, gaming monitor. And this was really like, this has a lot of gaming yeah, features. Yeah, it's like really maxed out, even with you know enough the features that nobody else has yet. But I mean, for me, the I think the most important reason for an ultra wide was because it will really give you this immersion. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have any experience with. Sorry, one question. Ultra wide. Um, uh, yeah, boy, Logan, is this 2060 super good for 180 FPS, 1080 low setting gaming? Um, it really depends on what game, um, but yeah, I mean, 180 I mean, FPS. Yeah, I mean, not every game in low settings can reach like 180 FPS, even in low. So yeah, I think majority of the titles, if you really set it to low and you play on 1080p with the RTX 2060, you should at least like have like 120, 150, and maybe even 180. Another question, is it Chinese name or Japanese? I Korean. Korean. Korean, okay. Yeah. Uh, he wants to ask, uh, the MPG-341 CQR-V, what does the V stands for? Okay, I understand why you might think V stands for value, but that's not value. Well, the V actually just indicates the, the let's so to speak, the, the model type. So in this case... What is the difference? Well, the difference here is that, well, the features are actually the same, but... For people maybe that, that can afford or don't want to pay for the, the CQR, you can go for a lower tiered version, which is the V version. So it's more value. You get more value for your money. You get more value for your money. But that's why I say, you know, I get why you're thinking that, but that, that's, that's okay. not what it means. But the difference is that instead of 144 hertz, if you are satisfied with 120 hertz, then go for the V version. That's the only difference. That's the only difference. Oh, so actually, it's a different panel. Yeah. So only the refresh rate. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you guys have to uh, make the compromise if you want to 120 or 140. That's up to you. And of course, there's going to be a difference in price. So that's why you know it's a consideration. And uh, any other question? Oh yeah, I forgot to. Uh, sorry, Gino, I forgot to answer your question regarding G-Sync compatibility. Well, they don't have the official G-Sync compatible label, but from what we have done or tested they work with G-Sync. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with uh, you know, the G-Sync uh, compatibility of official labels, but you can have the official label on your monitor, uh, you know, being tested by NVIDIA and stuff like that. And they are saying like, okay, your guys can have our sticker. Uh, we don't have this officially tested out yet and have this label, but from what we have tested, like I said, it works with G-Sync. Yeah, but it's not official approved. So exactly. Nvidia has a very long testing program, and each mm -hmm. like uh, each month when they have a new driver update, they have like yeah. two or three new uh, and monitors. Everybody is lined up, in, you know, to get their models tested, and yeah. there are millions of models. So uh, who knows? They might still come, so but not, officially not, no. uh, not yet. Uh, and officially, it's a free sync monitor. Yeah, but it can work with uh, yeah G Sync. Uh, CJ, good good idea to check uh, uh, stream elements. I'm not familiar with it. Well, you know, I never looked into it <clears> in <throat> detail. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that. My man, <laughs> we're actually learning stuff. You know, we're here to teach that, you guys stuff. Me to <laughs> smile again. I think Eric has been smiling nonstop. Uh, I'm not <laughs> sure what else he can still do. <laughs> But okay, uh, if you guys have more questions, you know, keep them coming. Uh, we keep track of the chat. Uh, if no more questions for now, 
I'll, I'll head back to the monitor. Yeah. So yeah, ultra wide. You know, what is ultra wide now really good for? For uh, for me, you know, the main reason is true immersion. If you are a true gamer, you want to be more immersed with your games. You know, you go for the ultra wide, especially when you throw curvature at it. So this one has eighteen um, hundred uh, R uh, curvature. If you compare this, if you well not compare this, but if you couple this with uh, well ultra wide you really be living in the games because all the sides, you're being embraced by the entire spectrum. You will be, uh, well, be sucked into your monitor, into your gameplay. So the immersion is really, truly amazing with an ultra wide. So uh, especially if you look at coverture, the wider, the bigger your screen is, the more you're going to profit from uh, immersion. So that's why ultra wide. Oh, I thought you had a question. So. I always have questions or comments. I'm reading the chat. Yeah. So, ultra wide plus curvature, really the ultimate uh, gaming immersion. If you haven't tried this, you should really try this. I was gaming on this before I knew it. I was like already playing for two hours. <laughs> so, but of course, the other thing is also, of course, you you're gonna be doing more stuff behind your monitor than just gaming, you know. And uh, well, for multitasking, that's also great. Uh, later, I will also show you with our gaming OSD how you can optimally, you know, uh, multi multitask very efficiently. So ultra wide for multitasking also very great. And if you have also like games that allow uh, windowed modes, you can also uh, use this kind of uh, split window functions to have your gaming, you know, majority of the screen on the left side, and then have, for example, maybe if, if you're a streamer, have your stream chat on the right side as a small window. So now you don't need two uh, monitors anymore. I have so, a question. Um, uh, question again from Korea. Uh, sorry, I'm not familiar with your name. Uh, I think it's a Samsung spy. <laughs> can be, can be. <laughs> well, we're so, using something uh, panel, so it's no spy. Yeah. Um, so, um, what about FreeSync 2? Um, and yeah, he actually already answers the question himself because these panels, they don't support HDR because then you go into a higher price segment. And the only difference between FreeSync and FreeSync 2, it's mainly HDR yeah. uh, support. And uh, uh, validation, like in in the age of in uh, FreeSync one, yeah, like certification. Yeah, FreeSync one, it's like recommended, and FreeSync two, it's required. Yeah, on some certain uh, mm -hmm. settings and, and specs. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but uh, I'm sure next year we'll have more models coming up, and as you know, uh, FreeSync two is going to gain more and more mainstream popularity. Uh, there are going to be more models available with FreeSync two, so no worries there. But yeah, like Eric already mentioned, you know, you're not going to be missing out on a lot of stuff between uh, FreeSync 1 and FreeSync 2. So no worries yet, in my opinion. Not at this moment, no. No. All right. Uh, where was I? Uh... I think we're going to show some uh, some uh, material. Oh, yeah, right. I, yeah. But I... before that, um, uh, yeah. I can't wait to, to show <clears throat> my new capture stuff, if it <laughs> still works. Yes. But before that, I just want to give you guys a few tips if you're planning on, you know, going for an ultra wide. Uh, there are specific kinds of games that will, well, in my opinion, uh, profit more from ultra wide. So Eric already said, like, you know, hey, mm, uh, for high FPS, you know, you don't need uh, to play this uh, with uh, strategic games, you know. No. So the same concept will also apply here because, for example, if you're playing racing games... There is no next slide there's, on the PowerPoint. There's going to be <laughs> if you want more slides, I can always give you more slides, man. That's, that's simple. I hate so, slides. They're boring. I know. We have the product here, so show it. Exactly. There is no more slides, so no worries, guys. Chill down, Eric. No more slides. But I, I just want to tell you guys, you know, hey, there are a lot more games, uh, well, uh, specific kinds of games that, that's going to be really awesome on ultra wide, so racing games, and uh, if you have triple A games with amazing landscapes and visuals, you're going to be so much more in the game with an ultra wide. So, um, you know. You can really try, just try it out. Okay. Question? Sorry, uh, yeah. I have to interrupt you sometimes. That's, um, that's your will it be now, a 27 right? inch version? <clears throat> well, actually, <laughs> that version kind of already exists. Yeah, but I mean, with the new features. Yeah, but not yet. But maybe if we hear a lot of feedback in the market, because. So what? maybe it's on the roadmap? Maybe, but. And you not are not now. allowed to tell about it? Or maybe we will put it on the roadmap? Well, 
actually, we might put it on the roadmap. Okay, okay. So it's so, the second case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So exactly. Not, so not confirmed you know, yet. If, if we hear a lot from you guys, we're yeah. like, hey, uh, I would like to have a 27 version inch. Well, then it kind of takes away the awesomeness because the ultra wide paired with a 34 inch size, that's really when you start to... Maybe, maybe take another monitor. Show yeah, how big this was, one is. Yeah, I was... How can we do that? Um, <clears throat> we can uh, switch to this one and I'll hold it upside down to... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, digital cam? Yeah. So, uh, okay, we might have to tweak a bit and maybe <laughs> tune up the... Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm the, the web, cam. I'm the webcam man. Yeah. So, here I'm holding an MPG 27 CQ upside down. So that's 27 inch. Yeah, that's a 27 inch. But don't, don't drop it. No, I won't. It's too expensive. Don't because... lose it like the screws you always lose. If the screws come loose right here, then uh, that'll <laughs> then be uh, very magical. They may right. be, uh... So I'm just going to hold it upside down to show you guys. I think, no, but you need to keep it in front of it. Yeah. Okay, we can also maybe tilt the cam a bit. Nah, I cannot go too much. Yeah, just, just like that's enough. Let's see if we can sh see this. So here I'm holding this like side to side. And you can see there's like about, say, 30, a bit more than 30% yeah. of real estate. Okay. And let me just put this back on. Whoa. Maybe show us what it is. <sighs> You're so impatient, Eric. <sighs> yeah, I like You're this. You're so one. impatient. <laughs> All right. So compared to a 27-inch 60 by 9, you have quite some real estate yeah. extra. And you guys just saw that something fell off. Well, it's not because it broke, but because you can just click it on and click it off. Now, you already see there's a webcam on there, so I think enough said, right? This is a camera cradle. And let me unscrew this and I can show the, you the, that the webcam is not included. This, no, is, uh, no. this, this is, is one of the webcams we're using. The uh, Logitech uh, 4K Brio camera. Yeah. Webcam. So with the monitor, you will also receive a uh, tailor-made camera cradle with uh, the standard uh, mount also for professional cameras. So if you're a streamer or if you need to have a cam or your monitor to you know, maybe talk to your relatives uh, abroad or friends from far away, this will be included and uh, you can just put it on your uh, monitor because on the back side of the monitor, there's actually a rail. Uh, I'll show you in a bit when uh, Eric is done playing <laughs> with this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so if we then uh, maybe switch to the other angle, I can show you. See here, there's a whole rail where my finger is right now. Don't from left stuck. to right. Ah! <laughs> So you can just click this in here, very simple, and then adjust the position left and right just by, uh, yeah. Yeah, somebody, <laughs> somebody uh, say, ja is glowing. Well, we have a little bit of problem with the green screen and with the detailed cam because otherwise it will, you yeah. know, it will look, it, it will mm. flicker. So, and it might have been easier if we I need... was white, but yeah. <laughs> fortunately I'm not. We needed to make Ja a little bit uh, greenish. Exactly. For me. It's more fun for you guys to see, right? If everything is perfect, it's boring. But uh, yeah, so that's the camera cradle that will come. And why do we, you know, include it's, this? For, it's for streamers, right? Yeah. Because a lot of people are They're nowadays so, streaming. Yeah, everybody wants to become a star. You know, everybody's getting good at video games. They want to show. And it's so much It's so much easier to just have this on your monitor so you don't need extra equipment as a streamer, especially if you're starting out. So this can help you a lot. Now. There's also something else here that was uh, sticking out. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, if we uh, take a look at this in a different, yeah. You see this little thing right here. It's not for you to play around with, but I can imagine if you play with this the whole time, but it's actually a mouse bungee. It will also come with a camera. You can just take it off like you've seen, see me do right now. And what is this for exactly is that, for my fellow esports fans out there, when you're watching a tournament, you often see that uh, besides the monitor of a pro player, there's going to be this little device slash camera cradle thing. Um, I mean, mouse bungee thing with this thing st sticking out. 
this is the, this serves the same purpose is to hold your mouse cord in place so that it doesn't i see that right now <laughs> <laughs> hold on was i talking to the camera <laughs> doesn't matter doesn't matter doesn't matter <laughs> so um yeah i, I lost track but uh yes yeah, so this is just to for uh keeping your mouse cord in place now i've had plenty of cases uh in which i was just swinging my mouse left and right fell wildly and then i knocked over a glass because it was in the way of the mouse cord or something else so this might seem like a small thing, but it can actually mean a lot. So this will also make sure that your mouse cord will never get stuck because you can adjust the distance between this and your mouse yourself. And this way it will never get stuck. So there will never be a problem. And you can place this little guy on the left side or the right side. So I'm a righty, so I'm gonna place it on the right side. Some, somebody is asking, Aarsen is asking, Eric, what rank are you in CSGO? Like zero? Well, uh, I even don't. I, I hope for Eric that he'll never kill a rank because that's going to be very depressive. Yeah, <laughs> very <no>. depressing. <laughs> I'm, I'm a battlefield. I think, fan. Yeah, I think you're better off just asking about his battlefield rank. I'm, I'm not sure battlefield has ranks. No, it doesn't have any ranks. It does have this like uh, gesture, right? Like you're like uh, a private or something like that. You have no, no, to get this ranks, label. Yeah. Just, just like almost maxed out. <clears throat> right. They just uh, updated in Battlefield Five. But uh, I was global, but I got demoted because I'm only losing streak. Oh, you didn't so play enough. I think that was a problem. When I was off, I think I played too much. Oh. Yeah, so I think my uh, my maximum losing streak was like 10 games in a row. So that's why I need a new mouse and a keyboard because... Uh... <laughs> but, uh, okay. So uh, the, the camera cradle of uh, the, the mouse cord will also come. And, well, maybe I can just okay. show you guys how well, it works. Yeah. Um... So Did here cam. I have my mouse and not the other way around. What? You're going to put the USB part in it and not the mouse. No, 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 but you have to put it <laughs> in here. So you have to take it off first. <laughs> I thought the mouse could go here. <laughs> well, you can try. I mean, yeah, it isn't a one size fits all, yeah. unfortunately. So here you have it and you see here is like a little how do you call this like uh hole? yeah it's not really a hole but yeah let's call it a hole so gap yeah you just put your mouth through it and then make sure that once you have adjusted the length between the the little cord cradle here and the mouse itself for me you know i think this is enough you can then put this in the hole <clears throat> eric always tells us you know, make sure your phone is off or on mute. And what does he do himself? You see, it's on mute. Well, well, well. Okay, so you put it in and then nicely put this back in the bracket and then you have it, it's set up. And then you just have to click this back in the monitor and you have, let me show you a, let me see where the holes are here. Uh, where the holes are. <laughs> um, all right. So let me put a cord away. You see, now whenever I do, the mouse cord will never get stuck. So if you think, ah, this is too short, you just have to, you know, pull on it a bit because it does actually require some strength to pull this out. That's why it's so nicely tight in place. So now your mouse cord never gets stuck. It will never knock over anything that you didn't want to. All right. but. The really exciting thing is, of course, the AI, right? Yeah, I'm waiting for that. AI. I think a lot of people are waiting for that. Now, what is AI? What do I really mean by AI? Well, it can <clears throat> kill the enemies already. Well, maybe um, like a bot <clears throat> wall hack. Actually, when I first thought about this, I was like, man, yeah, something like that. Like, hmm. Hmm, can you like scream to, scream to your monitor and the monitor is going to be like, talk back to you and be like, okay, what do you want me to do? Uh, but maybe that's still coming. But for now, let me show you what has been done. Oh man, I need to plug, uh, plug back my uh, mouse. Yes, the mouse bungee also uh, works on the left side, it's both left and si uh, right side. Actually, my phone was on mute, but seems that some signals still can i think i know what the reason was i think your uh whoever was calling had a priority and uh it's this, my girlfriend the, 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 the dedicated I, profile of whenever that person calls it will always go off <laughs> that's possible 
So, all right, talking about AI. Of course, the monitor actually has a camera in front. Now, uh, if we show you how it looks like, we can uh, switch the angle and I can point to you what I mean. So here, there's like a, a small camera. Now, I have heard some media calling this a webcam, but that's not really the case. That's not a webcam. Yes, it looks like a webcam, but it doesn't operate like a webcam because this is for facial recognition. It's for environmental scanning. So you should more or less see this as a facial recognition with extra sensors, right? And that's mainly for now what the AI function will come from. Because <clears throat> uh, if we, for example, open our uh, MSI Gaming OSD, here we can adjust the AI functions uh, functionalities. Do you want me to capture yeah. this? So now you've seen the camera. And uh, now I will show you in the OSD. Th what this I mean. is also something new what we have. This is, uh, we don't capture this via a uh, capture card. Yeah, I think Eric is very proud of this because he uh, figured all this out. <laughs> one so. hour, one hour before the live yeah. stream. <laughs> I was like, I wasn't even bothering. I was like, why are we even trying this right now? Because it's never going to work. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we, but he did it. You know, most capture cards can only capture uh, 1080p. So. Uh, uh, this one is like uh, 40 40 yeah, also, with a fixed, also with a fixed ratio, right? Yeah, so uh, capture cards always crash with it and yeah. it always gives problems. We we had it one time running on an AMD VGA card, uh, but it was because of the driver and didn't work on uh, NVIDIA. Mm -hmm. But now via NDI, you can actually, it's a, some sort of uh, protocol, you can capture uh, other PCs via the network. Yeah, uh, without having any capture card. And it doesn't matter resolution, doesn't matter uh, uh, what uh, frame rate you're running. Exactly. So that's... Still need more testing, but yeah, I'm, <clears throat> I'm happy this works. Hey, see the desktop, how, how huge it is. Exactly. So that's uh, also because of the ratio, right? 21 by 9. So uh, I made a zoom. <clears throat> you see what he did for all of you guys? Yeah. So, so much preparation. I was waiting for this part. We, now were, I can go. And we weren't even... <laughs> And we weren't even supposed to do this live stream today. <laughs> no, two days ago. <laughs> exactly. So Already. imagine if this was next week, you know, you guys would have been blasted away. Um, all right. So um, the game OSD app. So this is where you have to adjust the AI functions. Now, first of all, let me just tell you this function, which is facial recognition. Well, it's actually called Smart Profile, but it uses facial recognition to set up this profile. Now, what does it really do? You can uh, either set this to you know detect automatically when the OST starts, or just fully do it, uh, do it fully manually, iPhone automatic. Now you click on this little plus right here, then you'll activate the camera. So yes, it acts like a camera, but it's not a camera, <laughs> if you know what I mean, because it only works for this function. So you will see my face. I'll uh, make a really nice smile and take a picture, and then he'll recognize, well, register my face, my profile. <laughs> so, can I have a copy of that? No, it's copyright. screenshots, everybody, it's, please. It's copyrighted. One moment. All right, so one moment. No, 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 not a moment. So right now, I have to put in my username. I would just say like my name, Ja, and then you can select like corresponding profiles. Uh, I'll just click on CSGO and click on save. Shit, out too late. <laughs> How are you so fast? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so. <laughs> Don't worry, it's coming. So now I have set up uh, a smart profile with my face on it. So la, now, la, 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 actually, um, okay. So there were three profiles that you've seen, right? Those three profiles, I already uh, set them up like previously. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eric. <laughs> You're the best director ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, guys. Applause. <laughs> All right. So the, the, the profile that you've seen, I've already set them up previously. You know, the CSGO, race racing, and division profiles. Uh, I will show you after this how you can set up those kind of profiles and adapt them and fine tune them the way you want it. But right now, it's on CSGO profile. So... Uh, for example, if I click on recognize, uh, it will try to scan my face. I have to make the same face probably. And then it'll recognize that and it'll be like, ah, I need to activate Cisco profile because he's standing in front of it and I need to activate that.
So you can set up a lot of different profiles for this and recognize and uh, register different faces. So you know you have friends coming over for also, or um, you know your brother or stuff like that. They have can have their own profiles, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Actually, I haven't tested this, but <laughs> somebody is going to put you on his Christmas card, <laughs> CJ. <laughs> Do you need my address, CJ? Because uh, I I would actually like to receive that. Sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This, this, You're giving him ideas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not good. Um, shit, I keep losing my track. But uh, what is ASMR? When do you, when you do ASMR? Uh, there was something with the freaking audio stuff. Uh, what was it again? <laughs> I I don't remember, but I thought it was something with the audio and sound. Ah, uh, we will. Yeah. Um, yeah, so if you have other people coming over, uh, you can set up different profiles. Uh, but I haven't tested this yet because it might actually work. If you make really different faces yourself, he <laughs> might register that as different profiles. Screenshot tool ready? <laughs> Go. So, no, maybe for another time, Eric. No, no, no. We have had a lot of maybe, fun Maybe we, we need to test this feature. Mm, okay, maybe we can test it. So. I've made one face already. That's not how it looked like generally, but uh, <laughs> yes. maybe now I can try a different face to see if you register that, register that as a different profile. So let me see, uh, I need to get creative. Obviously none of this was scripted because otherwise he wouldn't be smiling this much. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> what face can I make? Let's see. Just be yourself. Yeah. So that's another face. And let's see if he uh, will recognize this as another profile and person mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. save in my collection yes so I give save. it a name or try to save Add. <clears throat> okay mm -hmm. but then of course you need to remember what kind of faces you made so when the camera is trying to recognize you you need to make the exact same face so let me try to do the first face see if he recognizes me right because that's a CSGO profile and the other one is the division profile <laughs> I think we we okay. He's on Cisco, so the first one worked. Now let me try to re recognize the second one that I set up. How did I even set it up again? I don't even remember. Show me the screenshot. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. Oh, right, it's set to division two. It works. Nice. <laughs> so guys, I just gave you a life hack. You can actually. Yeah, just make, <laughs> make you you can you can bypass the profile thing by just making up different faces. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? So all right, so that works. So now you can even set up multiple profiles for yourself. A uh, question: uh, Will the first monitor offer this function? No. Uh, so that's one of the differences between the twenty-seven inch, which from the first generation, and the thirty-four inch is from the second generation. So this has the right. built-in webcam. It's actually not a webcam. It's it's like a yeah. camera. Yeah, so really camera with us one for face detection, etc. Yeah. yeah, facial recognition and environmental detection. I'll show you what I mean after oh, this gosh. profile. So Century. now you guys Maria. are familiar with the profile Response. stuff like that. Oh, you know what, what it is? What? what? The, the Asian gamer. The Asian gamer. Autonomous sensory meridian response. It's like a heart attack. Autonomous sensory meridian response. I'm still pretty sure it has something to do with sound, but uh, I could be wrong. Because mm -hmm. I remember so that, cool. but... <clears throat> okay, so that's the facial recognition part. And, um, well, you can still have a lot of profiles. Now you might be wondering, okay, what are those profiles, you know? Um, well, let me show you. Here, for example, I just uh, quickly um, set up a few profiles just to show you guys. Well, you can tweak each profile to your liking because you can tweak everything about the monitor, uh, you know, brightness, contrast, sharpness, uh, nice vision. Uh, this will mean that you will have uh, a better, pro better vision when uh, you uh, encounter dark areas and stuff like that. So you can tweak this for specific games. Uh, you can set up the color temperature, response time, you know, a, a lot of stuff. Screen assistance is also a great feature from uh, the gaming OSD because some games, for example, in Cisco, when you use a sniper rifle, you don't have a crosshair. So this way you can have a life hack <laughs> by putting a screen assistance crosshair on your screen on top of your game. So this way you will still have a crosshair. 
so everything you want to tweak for a specific profile, you can just tweak it like this, save it, and voila, that profile is set up. Some people are asking if I can make faces, but no. No. Everybody who is in, uh, who's in for Eric making faces, no. just say in the chat, no. yes. No. We'll wait no. 30 seconds. No. Now, continuing. <laughs> so that's the profiles part. So obviously you can see, you know, the game has, it has a tons of options for you to uh, go through, but I'll go through these kind of settings just in a moment after I uh, explain all, uh, all the AI functions. So next to that, you also have smart brightness. So I said before, the camera will also serve as an environmental say, sensor. So it will sensor the environment to see, okay, is he playing in a very bright area or is he sitting in a very dark area? Then the monitor will, it will uh, recognize this and automatically you know, crank up your brightness if you're sitting in a bright area or tune it down to have more eye comfort when you're sitting in a dark area. The chat stopped working. Oh, I see. It crashed. All right, Eric. No, it crashed. You know it what crashed. time it is? It crashed. It crashed. <laughs> the chat crashed. <laughs> Give us your best shot. Oh, this is difficult. I already did two, man, so... Nah. Come on, I can do better than that. Is that a good one? I think so. Uh, my uh, screen capture here doesn't work. Uh, it's okay, I'll uh, make a screenshot here. <laughs> uh, let me search for the hotline. I will wipe that PC after I've finished. <laughs> I'll take the PC home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's name this... Battlefield. Eric's casual face. Yeah, yeah, that's how I Okay, we don't have a cab Battlefield uh, profile for now, but okay, so Eric also has one now. Damn, chat. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Okay, so yeah, yo, there's also smart uh, brightness. And besides that, there's also something that was very, I, I never expected this and saw this coming, but you know, usually when I was uh, going out, you know, after gaming, Jesus Christ, Eric. So, you know, usually when I'm done gaming or something like that, I'm preparing to go out, I usually check the weather because it's the Netherlands. Uh, you never know. It's, it's not as bad as London, uh, but still, it's quite bad. So I check the weather. Well, now you don't even have to, you know, pick up your phone anymore or open the browser or look at your widget, any, uh, anything. You can now just set up. Well, you don't have to set up. You just have to activate it. Smart RGB, the, the, fr the, LED, from, uh, the LED RGB bars on the front they each can have a specific function. So I know the text is too small for you guys to read, but I'll tell you what it says. For example, the first bar uh, on the front will say it's less than zero degrees outside. It will be blue. And then it will go to light blue, which is between zero and 10. So for those of you who has no idea, who have no idea what I'm talking about, Eric can switch the camera angle. I can show you the LED bars on the front. Now you know what I'm talking about. So here you can see one, two, three, four, five RGB LED bars. On your screen, sometimes it goes to black, but that's because, well, oh, it's actually black, not green. <laughs> I thought it was being keyed away, but. Um, so this, these bars will all have, well, we can keep it like the specific functions. <clears throat> so here, it will be less than 10 uh, degrees if it's blue. And then um, we can go to uh, the next one, which will be, for example, uh, the forecast for the next four to six hours. If it's like light blue, it's between zero and 10 degrees. If it's pink, it's 10 and 15. So each step will be a five degrees range, uh, all the way to higher than 40 degrees. So this will be uh, three hours from now. This will be four to six hours from now. This will be seven to nine hours from now. 10 to 12 hours from now, and this will be 13 to 15 hours from now. And each will be having a color to indicate what... Uh... So right now I've clicked on temperature, so it has activated the smart temperature. So right now, from the first one to the fourth one, it's orange. And orange means it's 20 to 25 Let me degrees. switch to that one. Yeah, but they, they can read it. It's, uh, yeah, it's maybe small. Can, yeah. So orange will mean... 20 to 25 degrees. So this means outside right now is 20 to 25, 25 degrees. And it's more like 20. Yeah, 20. And 13 to 15 hours later, it's going to be, let's see, it's pink. So it means 10 to 15 degrees outside. 
Now, the same principle will be also for the weather function. So for the weather function, the first bar will mean today. The second one will mean tomorrow, and you get the idea for the next three part. And yellow will mean it's sort of uh, sunny, so it's, there's no cloud. And blue will mean it's clouded, and pink slash purple, however you want to say, call it, will mean it's either raining or snowing outside. So it's, there's those three colors to indicate three kind of scenarios. And uh, each bar will mean one day. So from starting from tomorrow to one day, one day, one day, one day later. So depending on what you prefer, you can just uh, choose them uh, and have them on. And how does this work? It's because it will make use of your Windows um, location function. Yeah, that's, so uh, you don't need to see it, but I'm, see. Yeah, you don't really have to see it. But I'm just clicking, uh, open it to show you. You it will open the Windows location setting in Windows ah, 10. I, I need to remove your screenshots. No, but that's, uh, that's okay. That's, that's not important. So that's here with location. That's where we'll try to tweak uh, the location service. So if you want to have the, you know, show the uh, the letter, weather and temperature from New York, you know, you will tweak that to New York. But of course, you have this in your local setting. So there will be a rat in Saudi Arabia for this. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, can imagine that. <laughs> so that's uh, for the smart weather. And uh, well, did did we already have the second winner for? Us? I'm on it. Oh. Well, guys, I hope you guys uh, went to the well. Let's say the registration for the Steam uh, twenty dollar code, because right now we're going to draw the second winner. And if you haven't yet, you can go to uh, the visual that's going to come up right now. No, not really. I mean, in three, two, one, I'm... and then go to msite.com slash two slash insider yes. and perform a few actions there. The more actions you perform, the more chances you hey. have at winning one of the Steam dollar twenty uh, Steam twenty dollar codes. So CJ won a game code. Congratulations! Wow, well, CJ! And we well, have a picture. I guess. Of uh, you. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Shall we put it on the screen? That's funny. <laughs> no, no, we're not I, allowed I, to. No, we can sue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, congratulations with the game code. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we will do some more later on. It's always cool to see, you know, someone very active in the chat, always uh, also winning a Steam code. Yeah, but you know, it's it's a random. Yeah, so. Exactly. I just want to say that you know, there's no preferential treatment here because we have no control over the draw. It's perfectly random. So that's why I'm, I'm saying, you know, it's so cool to see someone active in the chat. Um, yeah. You know, I think Mr. Master Dogs is always in, in the chat. I think he also won. It's not today, but it's just so <laughs> so cool to see. <laughs> not today. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. That's it. Yeah. So congratulations, man. And for those of you who just joined, go to the link right here, msl.com slash slash insider, perform the actions, and you will still have the chance I to win. I posted up. the uh, direct URL in uh, the YouTube chat. I I cannot post it on the yeah. other channels. Yeah, uh, sorry, problems, guys, so. because otherwise it will crash. I'm going to try it. Yeah. Maybe, you know, it will post it. All right. So, crash. Yeah. <clears throat> so, the AI function right now, you know, we're still making baby steps. So, right now we have uh, facial recognition to activate automatic, uh, automatically activate uh, profiles, gaming profiles that you set up uh, according to faces. Uh, there's a smart weather and smart uh, temperature functions. And there's also smart uh, brightness functions. So right now, you know, there, there it's, it's, it's quite quite a few options already. And I'm sure it's only going to get more, uh, well, get expanded more and more as we go on because we just got started with this. And, but I think, you know, definitely nice touches. Something also very unique that nobody else yes, has. Yes, you. CJ? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> Congrats, man. All right, so that's for the AI function for now. And I hope you guys have fun with um, Eric's face too, because I didn't make any funny faces. <sighs> um, all right, so then let's go back to the game OSD, because uh, we were there and uh, Eric can show you the game OSD. Why, why are the pictures still there? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> well, I'll leave it to you guys, to the chat. If you want to keep the two They're pictures gone. there, I mean, be I my mean, guest. Be I my saved guest. them on my desktop. I oh. mean, my dignity is already lost, so it doesn't matter anymore. 
All right, so I've already explained quite a few options or, uh, from the gaming OSD. Uh, on the left, there are still a bit, uh, quite a few more predetermined profiles that you can use if you don't want to make your own ones. You know, if you can read it, you know, it says, for example, FPS, racing, so depending on what kind of games you're playing, RPG, or if you're just watching a movie, uh, you can also uh, activate the HDR function. So because these monitors are also HDR 400 certified. So you can enjoy HDR content. And HDR, I'm sure, is going to gain more and more popularity. More content will come out with HDR, also gaming. A question from Gino uh, is, uh, are, we, are you still work, uh, working, co-working with SteelSeries for this monitor? Yes, we are. Simple answer. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, so I already explained all this part. And uh, if we, we, we will Java yeah. show later. And if we go to the right, uh, we have an entire category dedicated to picture in picture, picture in by picture. Now, this function is especially cool when you have such an ultra wide monitor because now you can really make use of all the screen real estate and put two in, uh, sources, uh, signals coming in besides each other. So you can imagine with 16 by 9, you know, this, uh, the, the, um, the picture of picture, picture in picture sources will have very small yeah, real estate on the screen because they need to share the same width. Now you have so much more width, you can have two big screens displayed on the same monitor. So that's what picture in picture and picture by picture means. So picture in picture will mean you have one large screen with another screen somewhere on top of it. So if you're using like, for example, a laptop here. How are we here, going to demo this? Connect your notebook to it? Well, we can, uh, but then I have to grab some uh, cable. Oh, okay, but otherwise how? I can show you guys if you want to yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But let me grab a cable. Preparation. <clears throat> I mean, explanation was enough. Yeah. Well, I mean, why why you don't? Hmm, no. Is my one, right? Yeah, I'm looking for it. Yeah. HDMI oh. is also always. Uh, I know. Scars. Ah, found it. Hey, bingo. So Jan, how is going to do? Uh, he has a snowbook here. So he's I'm going, back. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to connect it uh, to the monitor as well, and then use it as a second uh, source. So you can do picture in picture, picture by picture. And so, how many connectors does this uh, one have? This yeah. monitor. You can have two HDMI connections and a display port, but it also comes with a Type C. Okay. So cool. for those of you, you know, more into uh, content uh, creation, using uh, Apple, that's also like that. display port Type C. Yeah. So yeah. the Type C can also be used as a display port. Yeah. Now, so right now I have connected uh, my laptop to the monitor, and the monitors are also connected to the Trident X gaming desktop, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. you can see right now. But so let's say you want to display two uh, incoming signals besides each other, so picture by picture. Let's go for picture by picture here. I'm not sure. OK. And then uh, you will say, you know, what sources do you want to select? Uh, right now, you know, this report uh, is being used and HTML1 is being used. So he already automatically detected it. All you have to do is start. I okay. probably need to switch this off. Take a moment. Yes. So I'm not sure if no, we can actually. No, no. We can well, then we this. can uh, show this on. Uh, Can you lower the monitor a little bit? Uh, yeah. So as you can see right now, on the right-hand side, that's actually my laptop's display being displayed here. And on the left, that's the desktop's display. So now you can multitask and work on two different sources at the same time. So that's picture by picture. And if you want to use picture in picture, uh, you can just go to uh, picture in picture here and then select the sources once again and then <clears throat> you have the option you know to show the picture in the picture as a small picture or as a medium or as a large picture so right now let's just try out large and you can select the location where do you want the other display be displayed uh, let's just randomly go for left top <coughs> and uh, maybe left to right top and then Click on start. So then it will change, adapt. Now you can see my laptop's display is being displayed on the right upper corner. So obviously, well, you can't go to there with your mouse because this is being controlled on the desktop. But 
you can see you can work on two things at the same time. So this is especially good when you're multitasking or you are comparing files or comparing uh, different programs or work progresses and stuff like that. So uh, very useful for, uh, well, multitaskers and also content creators. So that's uh, picture in picture and picture by picture. And if you want to stop, just go back to the o uh, OST, press stop, and that's it. Okay, back to the capture. And now let's see if the capture can capture the split window function. Because the split window function, uh, if we continue from the multitasking perspective, split window function is perhaps one of my favorite functions when we're talking about especially such a big screen. Because now uh, when you're not gaming, even when you're gaming, uh, you have games that allow windowed modes. So it's not full screen, it's windowed. Then you can also use uh, this function to, for example, yeah, display. I'm going to switch this Zoom function off. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm just going to open the browser a few times randomly just to uh, have a few stuff open. Oh, some questions. To show you. Yeah, sure. OK, Eric is reading a question. Meanwhile, I'll just continue with this. So say you want to display three items at the same time. And you can, on the left, you can choose, okay, what kind of style do you want to display all the windows? Uh, if you choose this one, for example, and then you can click on, uh, I want to have Steel Series and two web browsers. There's a question with uh, picture on. by picture. Can we set two uh, 1720 by 40, uh, 40 resolutions to full screen? I'm not sure the resolution. Well, and if you the can... resolution, because we, we don't have the flexibility to adjust the resolution here. No. <clears throat> so I'm not sure about that part. We'll have to test it out. And especially 70, 70, 20 is very specific. Uh, so I don't expect it will go very smoothly, but we have to test. But uh, yeah, so the thing that I can tell you is that you don't have the possibility to adjust the resolutions freely. All right, so uh, I've selected three items right now and I want to display them like the icon shows right here. So, and then I'll just click on apply and you can see Right away, he will set up everything like the way that you just ordered it to. Very important question. Is Eric gay? Not yet. Yeah, I don't know the question. <laughs> Where did that come from? Yeah, probably has some needs. Are you trying to hook up here? Uh, different, uh, hey, not, not, me, not so. the right channel here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I was talking to him. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so uh, if you want to select a different one, uh, different style, you can choose from the left window. And if you want to select more, that's also possible. For right now, it allows five simultaneous windows. <clears throat> so let's try five. Um, open, selecting two more, just apply, and voila. You can see everything will be uh, realigned. So that's the split window function, which is, you know, if you if you multitask a lot, uh, if you game and read your chat at the same time, if you're working on some uh, photo editing stuff and you need your library open, you know, whatever you're doing, this function is going to make it a lot more efficient. <clears throat> so that's a split window. Um, if we then go to uh, the macro key here, this function might also save a lot of time for you. Oh, there's another question. Yeah, this is a difficult one. Does G-Sync still work when using a split window? Well, first of all, it doesn't support uh, G-Sync. It supports FreeSync. Um, and then it becomes very difficult. I would say no, because you have two sources. No, no, no. I think there's a confusion here because split window, G-Sync, it will work. But I think he means picture by picture, picture yeah, by yeah, picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I'm uh, trying to answer indeed. So split windows, yes, it will work, but I mean, yeah. you can you run a game? Yeah, you can run a game windowed. Yeah, windowed. Inter interesting question. I think we need, should uh, test this. Yeah. yeah and picture in picture, it will not work because you have diff two different sources. Yeah, I'm not sure how the monitor will actually see the source, if it's like within the monitor itself, or we'll actually really see it as a different source within the monitor. So no, I got to test that part yet. But uh, yeah, so um, if we switch the, the view, I can show you that here is actually a uh, micro key yeah. in the other cam. Uh, well, okay, I can. Yeah. No, it's yeah. OK. 
So right here, there's a little sign. Uh, right underneath the sign, there's a button that you can click. This is actually a macro key that you can tailor make for yourself uh, to set this to open a specific or activate a specific function that you use the most. Obviously, that's going to uh, be the most efficient way to use this. So right now, on default, it's set to whenever you click on this, it will open the gaming OSD. But you can change this to a lot of other functions. So for example, you can click on this to automatically uh, adjust the brightness since it has this AI function to automatically adjust the brightness according to your environment. So if you're in a light environment, it will make it lighter. If you're in a dark environment, it will make it darker. You can uh, put this uh, macro keys to automatically um, put the screen assist uh, on or off. So the crosshair on your screen. Uh, a split window action. So a lot of specific functions that you can choose for or go for. Uh, well, if there's something that you use the most, just put it on that function and this will save you a lot of time. You just have to click on here and it's done. So that's a split window function. Now, if you have like millions of games that you play and um, you actually, well, if you want to make the maximum out of the monitor for each single game, you can also make tons of profiles for each game and then hotkey each, uh, each game with uh, well, a specific hotkey that you can tailor make that you can set up in the hotkey tab in settings. So here, for example, you can set up uh, the first gaming profile to be uh, shift plus one. And the second one, no, whatever you like. <clears throat> so the hotkey here will also save you a lot of time. And as you can see, there are a lot more functions here that you can hotkey. Uh, for example, uh, um, selecting a different input source or even an alarm. Um, you can go for the different refresh rates. So here, this window can also save you a lot of time. And on the back of the monitor, there's still a joystick. So the red iconic joystick that we always have on the back of our gaming monitors. This is a five-way joystick. You can click it. You can choose a different direction, go up and down, left and right. And each of this can also serve as a micro, uh, micro key. So here, uh, once again, you have different functions to adjust the, uh, the joystick. So I saw one question in the chat. Um, is this a software update? And this person had a MAG 34 inch. Uh, Which one is a software update? He saw a lot of new functions. So he was uh, okay. asking, is this a software update? Well, uh, actu actually, Depending on, on what model you have and what lineup, you might not have the same functions because some functions are not available to every model. So for example, if you have like a model in MAG series, you might have a majority of the functions that you've seen here, maybe even 90% of it. So it's very, very identical. But in this one, for example, there are quite a few that you will never have on that model. Because of example, hardware yeah, limitations. Hardware limitations yeah. and also, Feature-wise, here there are more features than on the MAG, so that's why yes. there are going to be more options here than on Somebody yours. Somebody wants to make the hotkey Alt F4. <laughs> no rage quit. <laughs> yes, that's the, that's the, yeah, that's a good option. You know, I remember the days when uh, Alt F4 really back in the days wasn't like that well known yet. So in the chat, when people were asking like, "Oh, how did you do that?" You'll be like, "Just press Alt and F4," and then you see that person leaving the game, and they're <laughs> yeah. just like, "Oh, that, that's the, yeah, those were the times." Trolling to the best. Okay, <clears throat> so yeah. I Sorry, uh, two more questions. Oh, yes. Uh, somebody is saying, hey, uh, well, he's saying stop with VA panels, make EPS gaming monitors. <clears throat> um, there's a good reason we use VA panels because uh, IPS, of course, has uh, better color production, but they're very slow. So uh, VA <clears throat> is the best uh, between TN panels, which are very fast, but have not so good color reproduction, and IPS. So VA offers the best <clears throat> of two worlds. Exactly. So, but um, yeah, I do have to add that is indeed IPS used to be slower, but nowadays it is trying to catch up. Yeah. But then again, even though it is catching up, like with every technology that's new and more uh, well popular and demanded, well, it's going to be more expensive. So yeah, we can make the same model with the IPS having the same specs, but then you're going to be paying a lot more. And I'm not sure everybody likes that so yeah related to this also uh, we're talking about nano ips this is actually the screen we have in our uh, uh, professional uh, lineup the yeah. prestige so i think PS3 in two weeks one. time you are going to yeah, do a exactly. live stream about p100 which is our uh, content creator desktop, desktop yeah. indeed and the ps341 
You can do this. You can do this, <laughs> Eric. You. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. W so, which is like a 5K monitor with nano IPS. Yes, exactly. So if you're interested in that, you know, there's a lot more to tell there because that's a whole different category, a whole different monitor for a whole different yeah. area. Mm -hmm. Then you're talking about different target audience exactly. because it's not targeted gaming. So sp uh, different features there and also a totally different look. Yeah. So yeah, in two weeks time, exactly on Wednesday, uh, I'll be, uh, yeah. And there are also going to be content creators coming over here as guests. So you can uh, learn a lot on, from that uh, live stream if you're interested. But that's for them. So, oh, there was another question, right? You said two. Oh, no, well, there was a second one about okay, nano yeah. IPS. So, yeah, so that's our game USD uh, 2.0 right now. And with all the functions specifically for this MPG uh, 3 for 1 CQR. As you can see, the, the OSD is really, really uh, elaborate. So tons of options for you to do. So uh, definitely try out the profiles. You're going to profit from this. Uh, yeah, so that's the game OSD. Uh, now, of course, we also uh, talked about the LED bars on the front, the RGB LED bars. Uh, maybe show them. <clears throat> still weather? Yeah, it's still on uh, weather, yes. <clears throat> Or was this temperature? No, this was weather. So the LED bars in front, these are steel, uh, powered by SteelSeries GameSense. What this means is that not only can they display our uh, Mystic Light uh, RGB effects and sync with other uh, uh, <laughs> devices. They, they, should may, uh, they should show my weight. <laughs> or maybe we can even connect the monitor with your like smartwatch. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Yeah. It'll be cool. If <laughs> Red, you, if you Red will your... be, you need to eat some salad. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Um, so, uh, what was I? Oh, yeah. So these LED bars can not only just uh, display uh, RGB effects, but they will also interact with in-game uh, events. So, for example, if you're playing Cisco, all you people can... are making fun of my accent again. <laughs> I think I'm like Arnold. Go to the chopper. <laughs> You'll be back. <laughs> right. Oh, oh uh, sorry. I, I'm going to capture this. Yeah. Mm. All right, so you've seen the LED bars on the front. Now, if you, uh, well, you can open the SteelSearch engine, uh, well, from your desktop or anywhere else, or you can simply click on the little icon here that's implemented, and then the engine will open. And from here, let me make it bigger. You can tailor. Maybe can you move it a little bit to the left? Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, uh, so. can you check here? Yeah, yeah, okay. So uh, if we open the app, um, you can see that from this tab, you can open uh, the model and it'll show you what you can do with the specific groups, set it to different effects and stuff like that. But that's not the interesting part. The interesting part is when you go to apps. As you can see here, there are quite some apps uh, also being uh, compatible with the LED strip bars on the front. So you can also try out Minecraft, Dota 2. Uh, I don't even know this game, but Hovership Havoc? Nope. Um, um, okay, interesting. Never went I, I need to yeah. check those out. Uh, so quite quite a few more. And Dota, I think a lot of people playing Dota, Mortal yeah. Kombat 11. I think this will only get broader and broader because this is already like broader than back in the days already when you first started. But let's uh, check out CSGO. For you, only CSGO is important, yes. right? I don't care about the rest. Yeah. So let's open CSGO. For example, if you play CSGO and you want the LED bars on the front to interact with CSGO so you don't have to look at your screen anymore because now you can just catch them with a glimpse out of your, uh, well, how do you say it, like to the corner of your eye. You don't yeah. even have to look at it. You'll see, oh, it's, it's blinking, it's red or something like that. You can just fully focus on the game. I'll show you later when I activate CSGO. But let's uh, first tell you guys what can you do. So for example, if you... Actually, I, I'm going to try to make this a <clears throat> little bit bigger. And it's not okay, so each LED bar on the front can be, it's, it's, it's actually a zone on itself. And each zone have different kind of categories. So uh, you can, for example, here, let me count in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight categories in each zone that you can tailor make specifically. Or you can just select the entire zone for one specific uh, effect. So let me first just show you guys, if I select the first uh, entire zone, and then here it says game events. So what do you want to display on the first bar? Uh, I would like to have health here, but you can go for health, ammo, round kills, headshot, 
flashbang brightness, love that, getting flashbang. Or your money situation, match kills, armor, helmet, or nothing. So you can see these functions are really tailor-made for Cisco. So that's why each game has its own profile. So let's put this on health. And, he, and then after that, you can choose what kind of effect would you have to, uh, would you like health to reflect? You can dual color, color range. So you can uh, change the range yourself with different colors. So, so green is still healthy. Yeah. Orange is like you're halfway you're there. You're dying. <laughs> and, and red is like you yeah. gotta take run. Color. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or you can have like a single color if you prefer. Yeah. Uh, so right now, let's put it on color range because that's more uh, specific. And then you have the option for like to display as a bar or flash. So you can choose to flash it when it's like, for example, at 10% or whatever else you would like to. So 10%, I think that's appropriate. Then done. You're done with the first one. If you and then second one, same principle. I, I've already explained how to adapt this. You can also just select half of it and have the first half be like display ammo and the other half display like uh, armor. But I prefer to have the entire thing to display ammo because then it makes more sense to, I don't have to really look at it. It will blink in a big area. I will see what's going on. So ammo and the third one, let's put this on, you know, how awesome you are at making headshots. I'm going to answer the question. Yeah. Sure. Um, so Hussein is asking, if I make a picture uh, in Photoshop on a VA, monitor or on a VA panel. Uh, are there going to be any color differences when I open it on a smartphone? Um, no need. I mean, it really depends on uh, which uh, VA monitor. Uh, some VA monitors, uh, do you know which uh, color production this one has? It has a uh, white common color gamut and it covers, uh, uh, I believe, 113% of sRGB. Yeah, so, so for example, if you select sRGB on your monitor, some Smartphones uh, also can do color profiles. I know Samsung uh, supports this. Not yeah. sure about all other brands. And this one actually also covers DCI-P3. Apple, for sure, as well. Yeah. So uh, DCI-P3 uh, yes. is also being covered here. Much, much more uh, lively and vivid yeah. color reproduction. And then they will look the same. Yeah. So you need to How have it's this. intended to be. Okay, so uh, the third profile, well, you get the point right here, right? So you can, each zone, each category in the zone, you can uh, tailor Maybe that's a nice idea different... for in two weeks' time when we talk about P100 and the PS341WU. Show, you know, make a picture in Photoshop uh, or something and yeah. show it on a phone. So, good yeah. input. All right, so after you have set up everything uh, the way you want it, uh, you can just go back and then that's done. And all that's left for you to do is then check out how does this work out in CSGO. Uh, same case with Dota, of course, you play Dota or Mortal Kombat, Minecraft, stuff like that. Uh, so I've set everything up. Now we can test this in CSGO. I've uh, uh, Tuco, uh, he paid like 300 euros for uh, X570 Game Pro Carbon with water cooling uh, mm, as a awesome gift. Awesome board. Two as months, a gift. Yeah, two months. Yeah, that, that's the action we are running uh, right now. Oh, two months later, sense. nothing. Uh, not any mail from MSI, and he says I'm not the only one. Uh, please go to register.msi.com. Uh, make sure you uh, register your product over there. I don't know the complete procedure, uh, but I know we are sending out a lot of them because our uh, load logistics lady, she's getting crazy of e all the UPS shipments that she needs ready each day. She was already complaining. Um, so yeah, I don't know about your specific situation, uh, but if you go to register, well, first of all, find the landing, sp landing page for this action. There should be some uh, um, links and some uh, more information. Go to register.msi, that's why you need to register your account, your product, and from there, I believe, also upload your invoice or something as proof of purchase, and from there, everything should uh, run smooth. If not, uh, this can always happen uh, for some reason. Uh, please uh, try to find the MSI local. I'm not for sure from which region you are. Find a, a local MSI office. You can always uh, contact them directly. Or your reseller where you purchase the product, they also can get in touch with MSI. Uh, but this should be easy solvable. Yeah, good luck with that. So you're playing CSGO. Yeah. So your favorite game. <clears throat> Definitely. Um, and you're now downgraded to like level... Or to what rank? 
Actually, I don't have a rank right. I think I believe I'm even silver. Oh, this is MSI. Uh, this account. is MSI's account. He he actually he was falling before you shot him, right? Yeah, I didn't do anything. But uh, okay, so there's someone there. I'm not gonna shoot him, but uh, so he shot me, and you know I can so already I, see. So I'm, I'm I'm going to show yeah. the detailed cam. <clears throat> All right. So each bar has its own function that I just showed you that I just uh, pre uh, set up, predetermined. And now let's see. He's shooting at me, and you can see my health is decreasing. And I'm dead. Show again. Yeah. So <clears throat> if this was your own account, right, would you demo this? Uh, definitely not. <laughs> no. I mean, I don't, I don't even have skins. I'm like a pleb. Yeah. It's just default. So you can also see that when I switch to my knife, this guy, this guy is gone because this one was set up for ammo. OK. Yeah. So you know, you have a knife, well, of course, then you Maybe don't you can ammo. take your gun and then <clears throat> shoot that yeah. people see the so bullets. Let me demonstrate an awesome spray control. So did you see? Now it's empty, it's blinking, and if I shot like half of it, for example, it's going from orange to like a dark orange slash red. And then when it's close to empty, it's just like gone. And then it starts blinking. And now health is going? Yeah, because I'm getting killed. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we're playing with bots today because uh, we, yeah, in order to make this NDI work, we connect to a different network, which as a firewall cannot play games. Well, not yep. online. I always kill the chickens. Yeah? Yes. Ooh, that's not good. So uh, I don't remember all five of what I just set up, but I believe this one was for round kills. Oh, no, headshot. Let me show us five headshots. Mm, they are getting wrecked by other bots. Oh, our bots killing yeah. each other. <clears throat> so what I mean with this is that uh, generally, you know, you have to look at your screen to see, OK, I still have like so much health. Right now, you don't have to actually look at it but you can so do you know what i mean like if you look at your screen you can still see the colors here like from the corners of your eye it's still within your view and without looking at it you can still see ah it's blinking red now so uh, you Tuko, give you uh, can you tell me please from which country you are uh who, who is he asking about yeah he's uh, he's to, uh, about the uh, cool master bundle Ah. So maybe uh, if I know from which region he is, which country I can. Did you see that spray control? Hmm. He hit you. Yeah, and now, uh, yeah. <laughs> chicken dinner tonight for Ja? No, 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 not chicken dinner. But I do love a bucket of KFC. Can always make me off a bucket of KFC. So yeah, uh, right now I have just used like five functions, but of course there were so many more, and you can tailor make this any way you and want. Purple magic tricks, or what is it? Um, what did I set this for? I don't remember what I set this for because <laughs> I already preset this. But maybe something with round kill or helmet is possible. France. Let me check France. Um... Any other CSGO fans out there? So, okay, let me readjust the fifth one because I forgot. Ah, yeah, it was for helmet, but third one was a headshot. Armor is the fourth. Uh, Tuco, can you please send an... Uh, I'm not sure if you participated in the giveaway, but too many, so I cannot find you. Is it possible to send a pro an uh, email to productmarketing at msi.com? Uh, please be clear uh, that uh, you you uh, uh, you joined the live stream, you talked about this, uh, then I'll make sure this uh, ends up to the right person, and I'll find out what the cause is. I'm not sure if I can solve it, uh, because probably there is a reason for it, um, but then at least I can chase it. So please send an email to productmarketing at msi.com and maybe include your MSI uh, account name uh, or your account number, uh, maybe some previous email conversations you had with MSI. Um, so then I can uh, follow that up. And no promises from my side, only that I will look into it. So All extra right. points for killing the chickens? <clears throat> no, but uh, it's just a culture thing. Chickens, I think uh, they're the most popular subject in Cisco. 
All right, so yeah, that's uh, SteelSeries GameSense, and uh, as you can see, tons of stuff you can do with well, it. Well, this doesn't work. You need to make it smaller. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm done with that anyways. Okay. So yeah, the LED strip bars on the front, multifunctional RGB effects, you know, smart weather, smart uh, temperature, and interactiveness with SteelSeries GameSense. So, and uh, tons of micro keys for you to adjust everything, coming with 144 hertz screen uh, panel and 1MS, even including a certification for HDR400, frameless mm. design, there's even AI cameras. Difficult question, uh, well, what are the viewing angles for the MPG? <clears throat> viewing angles, it's uh, 178. Like, oh, actually, check, check the to, website. Uh, check, oh, check the specifications. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I was right. So it was 178. Oh. Shouldn't doubt myself. You're faster <laughs> than I'm. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I already had it open. Okay. Cool. Just in case. But yeah, so like I said, 178. UFO test. That's the, the, the test. I need to find it. I have a basic IPS panel with white bleed sometimes. So I only ask. The viewing angles, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I think uh, I've displayed tons of stuff about this monitor. And, uh, yeah, well, like I said, this is really the kind of monitor that, uh, you know, that's meant for people that really want to have the awesome, complete package, uh, having the unique features. And, of course, the ultra-wide, you've got to be a fan of that. And uh, if you have tried it out, I really think that <laughs> you'll never go back. But that's just me. You can try this. And, uh, well, I think uh, you have already uh, drew um, two winners. Wow. Yes, well, two, guys, two, two, two. we have two winners. So uh, I'm going to sit back and enjoy this. Why? Well, I... Because you can pronounce the names now. I give yeah, this to you. Yeah, okay. It's, it's only fair. Seto, Setok, Setok, mm, Seto, Setok, yeah, Setok 99, uh, and that's for a change, it's not 69. <laughs> Setok 99, sorry, yes, <laughs> yeah, my eyes, I'm getting old, I'm getting old, and, and uh, uh, Azai, Azai, oh, those, those are pretty easy, yeah, should be, yeah, so congratulations, guys. Well, CJ is even more easy, yeah. That's cool. Anyway, congratulations with your prizes. In the coming days, we will send you an email uh, with the uh, Steam wallet code. Um, I think that's it. If there, <clears throat> let me check the, the chat. If there are any more questions, yeah. um, the price. People are asking mm. for price. Good. Nah. Yeah. So depending on where you are, I can give you an indication, but you know, it can be less or it can be more because of tax reasons and uh, VAT, regional VAT, import duties, import duties, stuff like that. But uh, generally, or euro wise or dollar wise, I'll give you an example of euros if it's like 800 ish. So that's including so 21% VAT. Yeah, including everything. So depending on your area, it might be less, might be more, but you have to check with the locals, but the Richtlijn, uh, the MSRP. The, yeah, say it's 800. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it for this week, right? Mm. Yeah, that's it. Or oh, you still have some some other uh, CSGO skills to show Actually, up? Actually, uh, I think in the after this, I might play some myself on my own account. But for now, uh, yeah, I hope you Frank guys up. enjoyed the live stream and uh, didn't take a lot of screenshots from the crazy faces. I still have them. Yeah. Maybe next week in the in the YouTube cover we can put some in. Okay, I'm gonna call HR for uh, harassment. Yeah. So um, we still don't know what we're going to do next week. Mm -hmm. uh, it happens um, like what I said. We wanted to do the the uh, another live stream today, so this one was uh, quite mm -hmm. last minute. This one was planned for next week, so yep. we need to check if the samples are in. Um, we'll make something up, uh, maybe some new game. I saw that the new uh, Call of Duty game was uh, public bet on the 21st. So not on the 20th, I believe uh, next is next week, Wednesday. Oh, it's 18th, so probably Too 19th. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll I will check that. with Activision. Maybe they have some uh, 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 press beta going on. <laughs> not sure. <laughs> that would be you cool to him. play that game. I'm a Battlefield fan, but I, you know, I'm open for everything. <sighs> 
Um, the week after, uh, you're going to do a live stream. Uh, yeah, something with... totally new. Yeah, and, and uh, some people had questions already about uh, nano IPS, about color reproduction. Uh, I yeah. think that's the live stream to watch for because then we're going to talk about our new P100 and our um, PS341, PS WU, WU, 5K content creator monitor. The week after that, I'm not allowed to tell you. You, you, might well NDA. Just, you might as well just post a screenshot of the whole no, plan no, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's still NDA. Yeah, new product <laughs> launch, something to do with uh, yeah. CPUs, main bars. Uh, we will see. Anyway, right. thank you all for joining. <clears throat> yeah. I hope we you... definitely had a good time. <laughs> so I hope you did too. Hope you enjoyed the screenshots I made. Yeah. And uh, well, if you're more interested, look this up. Send us some Christmas cards with it. Mm. I might quit this company, but. Uh... No, you're <laughs> fine. You're fine. Some people are already posting it on Instagram. Mm, awesome. You will be famous. Love it. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you.